disqualify this guy. The momentum's on the wrong side, and we've got to stop. I think it's a combination of the two. I think that uh, when the full realization of uh, just how poorly he performed in Denver, the walk up over the top of him, and hearing it from everyone knew that he had to fight back. And there were even suggestions put in the Democratic Party the guy really doesn't want a second term. You know, that maybe he doesn't want to be there anymore. He can find a demonstration that he does. And I also think there's a fair amount of personal animosity between the two of them now. <laughs> Although they were yeah. better on the stage last night, by the way. The families? With yes. the families, they mingled in a way, and I think that that had to do with the Al Smith difference. That they yeah. probably bonded a little bit in there. Way. But we're all treating this like it's an insurance contract, and we're going through it point by point by point. The, the fact is that the public looking in, in my judgment, is having a more, a broader impression. Can Governor Romney be commander-in-chief? Is the president a commander-in-chief that we can entrust our national security. And we'll see the results of that in the next 24 hours or so as it plays out. And, and my own impression was that, obviously, the president was more commanding because he is a commander-in-chief. He's more familiar with these tough decisions that have to be made and the complexity of what we're dealing with around the world. But I don't think that he knocked Romney off the stage, and that was the important thing for the governor, was that he hung in there. I did think that there, was, there were a couple of contradictions on the parts of both of them when uh, the governor talks about not cutting the defense budget and the Navy ships, and then that gave the president the opportunity to say, you know, we haven't had horses and bayonets since the First World War as well. And then when the governor comes back and says, government doesn't create jobs, you'll remember last week on this program we had Eric Camper on, and I trust him about the defense budget, and he said, we got a lot of jobs in Virginia to depend on. Right. So it's that contradiction that we pay more attention to than the country does. All right, Tom, stay with us if you can. Still ahead, we have Senator John McCain. He'll be here on 7, though, but also presidential historian Doris Prince. Good morning, Doris. Good morning, Senator. 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 Good mor